Oh boy, another episode is out. We get to learn about physics? Yay? Just tell them it's your project. Stop montaging. Just tell them to stop. That's it? You're not even gonna enforce the rule. I know they saved Equestria, but this is a children's competition. Whatever, just keep going. Eureka, I broke the TV again. Again? Eh, the intern will handle it when he wakes up. Just a little bit more, and done. Just let me get up here. Hi there, every pony. This is Deckard Spade, and today we're going to be reviewing the cart before the ponies. As you can see, I've decked out my derby racer for this. Why a derby racer, you might ask? Mostly because I wanted to do something fun after this episode. Don't get me wrong, there's plenty wrong with this episode. But I figured I would start with this episode's strengths before I started tearing a new one. So, right. Let's talk about the good points that this episode has. I think the Cutie Mark Crusaders are accurately portrayed as being still willing to test things outside of their boundaries. Apple Bloom wanting to make a fast cart, Sweetie Belle wanting to do the most traditional, and the most creative coming from Scootaloo. This is a good lesson in itself for children. You shouldn't be afraid to do something just because you're not the best at it. Second, we can note that the background ponies really seem to shine with their creativity. From Derpy Hooves winning the most creative cart as a filly, to the designs of the carts that are made throughout the entire episode. And... Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. Who is that? That's a Pegasus coat. D does Derpy have another kid? Okay, okay, deep breath. Before I get carried away with speculation, I am going to note at the beginning of the episode, it says they can ask any older pony to join them. Obviously, Scootaloo and Rainbow Dash are not blood-related, but they're allowed to participate in the contest nonetheless. Still, this kind of turns my head. This Pegasus has similar colorations to Dinky. Maybe he's a relative, a nephew, and maybe he could be Derby's son. Honestly, I don't have enough to go off of right now, but if any of you do know, Please put it in the comments. Anyways, getting back to what I was saying. Even by the end of the episode, the Crusaders make their own carts which stand out. Not only do these carts represent their personality to some aspect, but it also shows what they wanted to do with the race to begin with. Which now brings me on to the bad points. The first being another wasted CMC episode. Now, I understand the writers want to be able to make an episode with a CMC that is targeted more towards children. That said, I also know that it is a bad idea to talk down to children. A good half of the episode is stated repeating everything which we already know in exposition. Most of it spent with the Cutie Mark Crusaders telling their siblings, we're supposed to be doing this together. They do it during the first act, when they suggest doing something different and are told no. They do it during the second part of the act, when they go and build the carts and they still don't listen to their sisters. And it continues into the third act, where they hammer it in again with a song. I sympathize with Apple Bloom when we're asking, are we done yet? And the worst part of it is, this is not the first CMC episode to have this problem. A few months back, you'll remember my review that I did on On Your Marks. Most of the episodes seem to be artificially lengthened by this type of writing, talking down to the audience while trying to get through the exposition. Children may be in development, but they're not stupid. If you want to repeat yourself at least once at some point in the episode to review the exposition that you've gone over in the dialogue, that's fine. But if you're doing so for a third time in the episode, you're doing it too much. You have less than 30 minutes to get your point across to whoever is watching this show. It's not entertaining to watch someone say the same thing over and over and over. 
this is just lazy writing, and it comes across as downright insulting to the viewer. This leads me into the second problem that the writers seem to have with this episode. In order to make their point come across as something valid, all of the adults catch a case of the stupids. I've already heard several other people say the same thing. For some reason, Rainbow Dash, Applejack, and Rarity all just ignore all past lessons that they've learned within the five seasons leading to this one. You'd think Applejack would listen to her sister and let her have a little bit of independence? Maybe Rarity might try to not overshadow her younger sister. And, well, I can't say too much about Rainbow Dash, she's already self-centered. And if you're gonna start telling me she's not, you're gonna wait until I have to do the review on 28 pranks later. This sacrifices established lessons in order to just get the message of the episode to go by. And it breaks the suspension of disbelief that you might have watching this episode because the characters you know from season 1 up to season 6 are acting out of character. And yes, it does try to explain the reasons why they're acting so stupid. But the characters are just so dumbed down in this episode that you just... it hurts your head. So much so that Applejack makes a statement like this. So, are you an apple, or are you an apple? I... I don't even know what to say to that. Wouldn't it be, are you an apple, or aren't you? Saying it this way just makes it sound like there's a schism between the apples. And if there's a feud between the apples, and the apples are supposed to be traditional and grounded, then I don't know what to believe anymore. Everything's gone bananas. I'm just gonna wrap this up before my brain has an aneurysm and another existential crisis. Overall, this episode was just bad. While it had some redeeming qualities, it was far outshone by the stupidity that they laid out within the writing. The episode was padded, and it just talked down to its audience. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And as always, thanks for staying a while to listen. Now, if every pony will excuse me, I'm off to go buy a new TV. And away we go! Wait, I'm going backwards. Ah! Ah, oh, my cards!